Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today I will be going over my Braza wallet, how I've been using it, kind of do a little updated review and then share how I'm using it for budgeting. So as y'all know, if you've seen my previous videos, I've tried different planners in this. And so I purchased the Hobonichi Weeks to try out. And while it does fit in here, if you're a Hobonichi person, I wanted something more compact and just something that I could easily budget with. So the whole reason why I wanted this was to just have my transactions, like a transaction log with me on the go and store it. And then I also, I, I, I hate to repeat myself just in case you'll see the other videos, but needed something that I wanted to be able to hold like change in and then just get like a full length wallet. And so this fit everything. So I have all my cards in here. I have a few out right now because I was paying bills. Um, but I can keep receipts in here, change, and then cash. And then you have so many card slots. I keep a ruler in here for planning on the go. And I just absolutely have been loving this. I love using this as a full-length wallet. I still use my card holder to hold all of my um, like debit cards and like main credit cards. But this one has just been a great addition to my like everyday carry because I can have all my transactions in here. So I decided to use the cloth and paper pocket plus planner. You can fit about three months in here, which I think is like absolutely fine to be honest with you guys. Um, I don't need more than that. Um, I like that it's compact. This isn't something either that I really reference. This is $8.99. And so I think it's a good price. I think, you know, eventually it will add up, but I bought it stuff all the time so honestly as long as it's working $8.99 every three months I feel like isn't too bad and again I just really love the setup and how this fits and works so for the setup let's go with this week um, what I really loved because I love this layout from cloth and paper is that you have a full blank area grid tasks goals and next week and so um, for this area, I knew because I am using this on the go, this would also be my on the go planner in a way. I can mark appointments in here as well as paydays, like anything financial related. And I've been loving that. Um, I put like when major bills are due and just keep it very simple, but you know, very informational. So that way when I'm on the go, I can easily reference things or reference appointments that are coming up. And so... I really love that aspect. And then it's also just been great to have the um, doc grid for transactions. And so every day if I spend something, um, I will come in, even if it's online or in person, I'll come in and put this in here. There are days of course where I miss. And so like you might see my planners where I put like budget check-in and that's when I'll just go in and recap all my expenses so I know what balance I have. This is only for my spending account. And so I have, four different accounts, maybe five at this point. Um, and this is just my spending account because I have a specific amount that I have set aside in my debt management plan for spending. And so this makes it easier just to keep track of that and to like have a better, have a better awareness on what I'm spending. I think that's the biggest issue with me. Like I'll just like spend everything, right? That's why I got in like so much debt, but I'll just spend. And then, um, I'll come back and like, oh, I actually spent a lot of money. But with this, I'm more aware of my finances because I'm checking in frequently. I know what the balance of my account is. And because I'm more aware and more conscious of what I'm spending, for the most part, um, I'm still an impulse shopper. That's not going to change. And then I can also keep track of um, whatever I charge on my credit card. So for example, my service appointment was a lot more than anticipated. And I did not use my... Um, account to, of course I couldn't because I only had $73 in there at the time, but 
um, to pay for it. And so I knew I was getting paid literally two days later. So I just put it on my credit card. And then once I got paid, pay that off. And so I have a little symbol in here. Same with Target, because I use my Target card, my Nordstrom card, all of that still, but I just want to pay it off right away. And then my husband and I actually got a travel card. And so whatever I put on a credit card, I'm putting in here because that money is going to come from this account. And so either way, it needs to be removed since it's coming from this account. And so that way I can be aware of, okay, well, um, I charged this on a credit card. I need to pay that off um, at some point, right? Like there was no rush. And then at one point, I think I charged something on Target. Maybe not. I think I was going to go to Target and start it with that, but I didn't. But yeah, anything that I charge on a credit card... Um, I'll just put credit next to it and that way I know I have to pay it with my account and that way too I can still take it out of my finances right away instead of just letting the credit card like pile up again and so I really like doing this for that reason because I think again it's just one of those things that helps me realize okay I actually owe money and it's not something that I'm gonna pay later I need to take it out right now and this transaction log works perfectly I want to do like a no spend March and I'm actually filming this on March 1st I have like videos scheduled like a week out so I know this is going to be like a little bit behind um the only thing that um I can't talk right at the same time um that I am going to purchase is furniture from Ikea and I put the little question mark here because it's technically non-essential but I've had my eye on it and this is just a goal and if things get spent things get spent right but for March I want to do no non-essential spending because I've purchased so much stuff and Again, focusing on debt payoff. So I want to do no non-essential spending. I'll break it one like one day next week when I go to Ikea and I get, I want to get something for my um, bags, like a better display slash storage um, unit. And it's going to be, I think, less than $200. So it's not too bad. And uh, honestly, if that's the only thing I purchased, then it's fine. But yeah, this is the setup. And again, I'm really loving this. This is something that I wanted to put in my Hobonichi Weeks when I was trying to use the Hobonichi Weeks. What appealed to me was that it was like a full year and not just three months. So it was $20 and I was set. This will come out to be, you know, a little bit double that because the, it's $8.99 and for a full year you have to get four. But again, I just love this setup and it's really been helpful with keeping money on my account. So the $9 to me is worth it. And I just love how like compact it is. Like I just think it's the perfect planner for me in this um, setup and I've just loved using it. So if something else comes up that I want to try, of course I'll try it. But this has been working great and I really just have been loving it. So yeah, that is the setup and then a little overview of how I budget in here with my transactions. Um, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Other than that, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.